Let's take a look at matrix determinants on an HP 40G S graphing calculator. Then we'll find the determinant of this matrix, and I already got it written down on my tablet. Okay, first thing we want to do is we want to input that matrix in. Um, so you see above my four it says matrix. So I'm going to do a shift four to go to my matrix. And you see M1, M2, M3. We're going to put it into the matrix called M1. So you see there's an edit here. So I push the button straight down below it, which is this first one. And I'll start typing my matrix. So I'll do three enter, one enter, and I'll put two enter. Now I create those columns as I do it. If I do a down arrow now, it'll go down to row two. And then I'll do four enter, five enter, and six enter. And then I'll do seven enter, eight enter, nine enter. Now I'll press home uh, to get out of the, the matrix. And I won't go into my math button, so push my math button. And if you down arrow or up arrow, you're looking for the one that says matrix. Now once you get to the matrix, you do your right arrow key and do your down arrow and you'll find determinant. And then I'll press enter on that. Now it puts the determinant, it puts the beginning parentheses, and I want to type M1 because that's where I stored my matrix. Well, M is above, uh, or I guess it's below. We'll see. <laughs> I've forgotten. Um, alpha closing parentheses. Okay. It's below. Uh, and then one, and then a closing parentheses. So again, we wanted to do the, the M uh, for the alpha. Now if you press enter, you see our answer is negative nine. And that's um, how we find the determinant on an HP 40GS graphing calculator.